Welcome back to another episode of We Broke Multiple Laws, Got Stuck, and Didn't Learn a Single Lesson as we are willing to do it all again next week. Don't get scared, it's okay. We would like to hear from you if you think what we did was illegal and what you would have done in the same situation. On top of doing some amazing four-wheel drive tracks in Limestone, we will tell you the one feature of the car that really makes it feel like cheating, as well as showing where we were forced to stop, get our recovery tracks out, and try to get the Fortuna moving again yep. before nightfall. Yep, you're good. Twice. Turn a little bit to the left. We had work in the morning, the so staying overnight was not an option. Stick around to the end to see some extra footage, including our GoPro go flying. So, the rut. Yep. so, like a pig in mud, let's get into it. The adventure started in Ye, approximately 133 kilometres north of Melbourne. From here, we went past the Cheviot Tunnel. This is where our first alleged illegal act happened. While looking for the tunnel, there were zero signs that we came across to help us find it. Eventually, we figured out its approximate location and a track to get there. However, where once upon a time you could drive through the tunnel, they have now made it a bike path that is part of the rail trail and our track put us in the middle of that bike path. After some dirty looks, a quick three point turn and a decline that had us looking straight down, we went back the way we came. Honest mistake really. So onward to Limestone and the Werrett track. This is the first track on the right when you enter the state forest off Scrubby Creek Road. This track has a few great inclines and declines that are not for the faint-hearted. With trees across some of the tracks, we were lucky that we came after they had been cleared. Although we did not see anyone the whole time we were in limestone and it really felt like we had the place to ourselves. Our biggest concern was that currently in Victoria, there has been an unprecedented amount of rainfall and we are expecting a lot of water and mud on these tracks. After traveling up for a while, we finally reached the top of the Werrett track and what goes up must come down, or so I'm told. Here you can see us doing a descent with the tires slipping on the shaley rocks. Due to the steepness of the track, halfway down we decided to use the downhill assist control that comes standard with the Fortuna. You can really tell the difference in the control once it has been engaged. We generally avoid using this as it really feels like cheating and can take the fun out of four-wheel driving. After a few bumps and shakes, we make it down with relative ease, so onward to the next track. As we make our way onto the next track, we would like to hear your suggestions for some upgrades to the Fortuna. We do have some fun things booked in and are waiting for parts to arrive. However, we would like to know where you would start. Also, would this be something you would like to see? Should we make a video when we install upgrades? Let us know in the comments. After an intense discussion, we decided to take on the Monkey Creek Road because we like the name. We've also noticed that a lot of people from the US and UK watch our channel, so we have included subtitles and conversions to help. This is where the fun intensified. As this was a lower track heading into the valley, it became very muddy in places. It also leads us to our next alleged activity. As we slip and slide our way down the track, we found a few great places to stop, have a picnic, or even camp. The track opened up to a clearing with what appeared to be an old cattle station. From there, we headed down the hill and came across some wildlife and cute cows in a paddock. This is where things started to come undone. We thought we were home free, instead we got stuck. We came up to a gate that was locked. Were we even meant to be here? We knew that going back the way we came would not be the smartest option as we only narrowly avoided getting stuck on the way down. Should we have cut the lock? After all, we were on a gazetted track. Instead, we decided to turn around and hope for the best. Five minutes later, we were stuck. As expected, the road up was muddy and slippery. The car slid sideways, so there was a log between the front and rear tires on the driver's side, trapped in a heap of mud, we had no choice but to further deflate the tyres and get the recovery tracks out. Can you 
reposition max trucks on that side. I can't get out here. Yep. On the back tire? Both the front and back there. After a few attempts, we gained traction. We piled back into the car and made it another 50 metres, which is about 50 kangaroos, before we got stuck again. We couldn't drive backwards without risking panel damage to the car. However, this recovery was a little faster as we had all the equipment ready for use. Press and claim your like and subscribe as you watch some bonus footage. Oh, oh no, I can never have another burger. Hmm?